This is smoked lobster roll at Pelican. New Nordic cuisine. It's just we use a lot of like the old methods of cooking like we used to do back back in the days, like pickling and salting and drying things because we needed we needed to harvest right away in the summer. So today when this lobster roll is came out of an idea with cabbage, because the cabbage is something that is definitely loved by Danish people, but for sure also loved by Chinese people. So by chopping all the lobster here, we can pack it in, we can flavor it up as we want to. As seafood is like a main ingredient in the Scandinavian cooking, it's definitely for sure something that we want to show here at Pelican. It's really important for us. So we're just seasoning up the lobster a little bit. We take a little bit of sea salt. We have all these uh, fresh herbs chopped up. I'm using like dill, sage, and I'm using this uh, red amaranth to just bring out like bitterness, a lot of freshness to the flavors. One thing that's for sure is that we use onions. So we use shallots and we use green onions, which is here. Everything we just want to mix up. So it's just basically like, a, like when you make dumplings sometimes, you know, like you mix everything together and you make these amazing flavors into it. I have now this cabbage here which I have just blanched off, which I'm gonna use to make my package with. An additional thing to my dish here is that we're using pork lace fat. It's an amazing product to use because it's basically just adding flavor. So now we have all these fresh ingredients there together. What we have now is that we put it inside the cabbage. It's falling apart a little bit, but we just wanna get as much as possible in there. We have this pork lace fat. When we're grilling it up, the fat will just render away, give a little bit of flavor, and then it's gonna get the smoke to be attached to the roll. Okay, so the step here is that we're basically just grilling up. We just wanna get this nice color on the grill. We're just doing the same thing with the lobster roll. Some top seasoning is also always important. You lose flavors all the time by cooking it and processing it. So a little bit of butter with this rosemary just on top of the lobster. That's gonna get some awesome flavors when we have it. What we have here in the background is basically our smoking pot, if you can say so. We wanna put everything inside this. In this little pot here, we have a little bit of hay, we have rosemary, and we have thyme. So that's just gonna give some awesome flavors to, to this whole dish. We're basically just gonna cover it a little bit, and then we have all the smoke covered inside. We don't wanna smoke it for a long time, we just wanna capture the smoke that's actually there and let that sit on the rest of the fat there is from the lobster roll. So now that we have smoked our lobster here, it's still raw, a little bit raw inside the tail. And that's exactly where we want it. I've taken this uh, cabbage here and I just sauteed the stems of it, put a little bit of pickle juice into it just to get a little bit more of these Nordic flavors to it. And then that we're just gonna place in the bottom of the plate. And by this, we basically have our lobster roll with the grilled lobster tail on top. Just to finish it completely, we have of course made a sauce. The sauce is just made with the heads. It's basically just, um, you cook off the heads, roast them off, you add a little bit of lots of onions and herbs and fresh vegetables, also to put in some tomato paste. And then afterwards, strain it up and then blend in this uh, smoked, smoked butter and give it a little bit of salt and lemon juice. So there you go, smoked lobster roll.